let's have a look at how we compare the spread of two groups. So the first thing we want to do is we need to find the interquartile range and we need to look at which group spread is bigger. So in terms of what we're looking for is we are looking at the spread of that middle 50%, remember? So if I take my box, all right, if I just take both of those boxes, what I'm interested in is I'm interested in how spread out that middle 50% of the data is for both groups. So I want you to think about how wide is this box for the females, how wide is this box for the males. Is one group wider than the other? And we don't need to worry about saying, oh, this one's two kilograms bigger than that one or whatnot. I want to just estimate. It's about the same size. It might be double or triple the size. It's a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. That's I just want some general terms here for this. So I would look at these two and say, actually, those boxes are pretty similar in width. So I would say that the spread for the middle 50% is quite similar. So let's have a look at an example. So I'm going to look again at that centre. So I'm looking at that box versus this box. And I'm thinking about how wide are those two boxes. Okay. And I can see that this width here is quite similar to that width there. The females might be a little bit more than the males. So that would be the one of the first sentences that I would say is that um, for my sample, the spread of the middle 50% um, of bag weights, so always in context, for um, females, is slightly um, larger than the males. So that's all I need for my achieve. For my merit, I need to justify that. So this is where I need to calculate my interquartile range. So I'm going to go to the summary statistics on the side and I'm going to look for, for the females, I'm first of all going to go and find the upper quartile and I'm going to find that lower quartile. And so my upper quartile for the females is 5.5 minus the lower quartile of 2. Subtract that 2 and that gives me an interquartile range for the females of 3.5 kilos. Now I want to do a similar thing for the males. So they've got an upper quartile there of 5.1 and a lower quartile of 2. So I'm going to do 5.1, take away 2, and that's going to give me an interquartile range of 3.1 kg and so again there's my evidence that the females interquartile range is slightly bigger than the males interquartile range.